Hey guys, it's me, Kelly, finally chiming in on documenting 2020. It has taken me a hot minute to get going into the swing of things for this year, but I finally got a grip and I'm ready to share with you what my plans are. One of the first things I do prior to beginning my yearly Project Life album is I get rid of the previous year's photos from my camera roll. Yep, that's right. I totally get rid of them. I'm done with 2019 and there's really no reason for me to be keeping those photos on my iPhone or computer taking up space. Now, don't get all concerned that I'm deleting these photos forever. I do keep them in a separate Apple Photos album on an external hard drive, which you can see here. You can see I have family photo albums here from 2008 all the way up to 2018, and soon 2019 will be on this external hard drive. This hard drive is then backed up onto Backblaze. Now, I do not break up my Apple Photos libraries into smaller ones by using Apple Photos alone. I do use another piece of software called Power Photos by Fat Cat Software. I've been using this software prior to Apple switching from iPhotos to Photos, and I've divided up huge libraries that were comprised of several years into smaller libraries of individual years. So if you are on a Mac, and have several years of photos in your Photos app, this software is wonderful in helping you divide the library into smaller ones. Now I just mentioned one of the first things I do when the new year starts is I get rid of the previous year's photos. But knowing I was going to make this video of how I use Power Photos, I purposely didn't delete my 2019 photos yet. So I wanted to have some 2019 and 2020 pictures in the same library so I can demo this software. So let's go ahead and begin. The first thing I need to do is open up my current photos library, which you see here on the screen, and then I want to create a new smart album. And to do this, we have to go up here to file and then click on new smart album. And I'm going to name my smart album 2019 Family Photos. And then we have this area here where we want to match the following condition. So in this first drop down box, I'm going to click on date captured. And then in the second one, we're going to click on is in the range. And then you're going to have two different boxes here. So I want all of the photos from 2019 beginning January 1st of 2019 to December 31st, 2019. And you can see right here in this left-hand corner of this box, I have over 7,000 photos that were captured between this range, okay? Then I'm gonna click OK. And you can see down here on your left sidebar that you have a smart album created with 2019 family photos, okay? Look at all the pictures from 2019. So we're going to minimize this. And now I want to come over to my launch pad and launch Power Photos. And he's a cute little icon, kind of looks like Wally. And I'm going to open this up. And you can see here in this left sidebar, it will open up the last photos library on your computer that you had open. Now, if you are using Power Photos for the first time, you may be prompted as to which library you want to open. It's been so long since I've opened the software for the very first time, I forgot what that opening screen looked like. So, um, but you can see that it's kind of mirroring your photos library. So you can see I have my 2019 family photos uh, smart album right over here. Now what I want to do is I want to come up here and create a new library. Okay, so I'm going to click this little plus sign in the upper left corner and I'm going to select new library. 
I'm going to name my library as 2019 Family Photos. And this dialog box is asking you where you want this photo album to go to. And it's already um, recognizing my G drive, which is where all of my other family photo albums are. So I am going to then click Create. Not sure why that popped up. And you can see I have nothing in this area here because it's a brand new album. So to bring those that smart album that I just created, I want to come back here to my active family photos album that is on my Apple computer and I'm just going to click on my smart album and I'm going to drag this over here to the new album. And what's going to happen here depending on how many photos are in that album, it is going to copy the album or copy those photos to that newly created album on on my G Drive. And this can take some time, okay? It's going to load data. Um, you can see that right now it's finding duplicates. And like I said, this can take a while depending on how many pictures you are copying over. Um, you know, if you only have a couple, it may only be a few minutes. But, you know, I've had it sometimes where it was, up to an hour or more. Um, but don't worry about that. It's, you know, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Um, you may see some flashing on your screen where it's closing and opening that library on your computer. Uh, but, you know, it'll, it'll take some time. Okay. So we're not going to sit through this entire thing. I will stop recording the video and we're going to pick it up once everything has been copied over. Okay, so it took just under 30 minutes for this album to copy over into a new album on my external hard drive. And once the album copy is complete, you'll get a little uh, album dialog box that comes up here. And it'll let you know how many photos were imported, how many videos were imported, um, the album that came over, and um, also let you know that if there were any photos that were not imported um, because they were duplicates. Now let's go and take a look at the new library. The first thing I want to do, however, is I want to close my current library completely, that one that I just had open. Um, so I'm just going to control click and quit that because you cannot have two photos libraries active at the same time. Okay, so I'm going just this is power photos. I'm going to minimize that and come over here to my G Drive and look at that. My 2019 family photos album is right here. Let's click on it. And all of my photos have transferred over here. How awesome is that? I'm going to close this down here. And again, I'm going to minimize this. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to delete all of those photos from my 2019-2020 library. And I need to access that library, but I am not able to do it through just by clicking on this photos icon down here. Because if I did that, and I'll show you right now, what it is going to do, it is going to bring up the last photo out or photo library that I had open, which was the new one that we put on the G drive here. So I'm going to just close this out and I'm going to come down here to Finder and come over to my home and then scrolling down to Pictures, here is where I will find that local Family Photos library. So I'm going to click here. Let's do a search for 2019 photos and you can see I have my 7,792 photos here. I'm going to click see all and I want to perform a command on my keyboard. It's going to be a command A to select all those photos. Okay, you can see I have all of those photos selected. Then a control click on any of those photos that are highlighted 
and I'm going to come down here to delete 7,792 pictures. So I'm going to hit delete. And it's telling me that the photos are going to be deleted from iCloud Photos on all of my devices, which is fine. Hit delete. There are a lot of photos that are going to be deleted, so it's going to take some time. I'm going to stop the video again, and I will start recording once those photos are deleted. It took several minutes for those photos to be deleted, and when they are deleted, there's going to be a blank screen. And um, before I could record that screen, I accidentally clicked on recently deleted photos, which is what I wanted to click on anyways, because I do want to let you know that all of those photos that you delete from your uh, photos library will come up here in this recently deleted trash bin and they will remain in that trash bin for 30 days. Okay, after that time, those items will be permanently deleted, or you can um, click right now to delete all of them right away and free up all of that space on your um, in your iCloud photos in your you know your your phone your computer whatever okay so that would be totally up to you if you wanted to um, delete them all right away I'm just gonna leave mine in here for right now and um, we'll move on now before I close out this video I want you to be aware of two things when using power photos and that first one is going to be photo albums that you create within your library that you are breaking apart will need to be dragged over to the new library individually. So earlier in the video when we had Power Photos active and we were dragging that smart album over to that new library we were creating, your photo albums that you created won't carry over. You, if you want those photo albums to carry over, you would have to drag them to that new library individually. Um, I know it's a pain, but at least they will stay organized. Um, I've learned the hard way. <laughs> um, I know when I, uh, I had several albums created in my 2018 library that um, I did not drag over. And I mean, while the pictures are there, they were, they did not stay organized in those albums, but you know, live and learn. That's okay. And then finally, when you are opening an older photos library, it may take some time. So if we go back to my um, G Drive here, and let's see, which one haven't I opened in a while? I think 2010, I haven't opened in some time. Oh, I want to switch libraries. When I switch it like that, and if I have not opened up this library in a while, it may go through some updating. Okay, just like this. And the reason being is because photos, the app itself updates periodically. You know, Apple updates these apps periodically. And if I haven't opened up any of those older libraries, in order for it to open, it has to, that library has to update to the, to the latest software. Nothing's going to happen to your photos. It's all fine. But it is going to take some time to open up that library. Okay. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps any of you who are looking to divide up your library into smaller ones. Stay tuned as next week I will be sharing how I am setting up my 2020 album uh, along with a few tutorials of apps that I will be using throughout the year. I feel like I am changing things up drastically uh, from how I've done things in years past. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this year goes.